if you feel like you're shooting in the dark with Claude Code, and I get this a lot, I get loads of messages about how the first initial prompt does really well and those first maybe five to ten prompts is doing everything. But then as the code base gets more complex or gets bigger, things start to go wrong. And I have experienced this many times. So I wanted to share this awesome Claude.ai. It has a wealth of resources for integrating into your Claude code installation. So plenty of information. And then it's got this MCP directory. So a bunch of different useful things that you can just give it the code and add. Um, what I like to do in any case is give Claude entire URLs of documentation and whatnot. But this has a wealth of information, GitHub resources. And then when you go over to code cheat sheet, you have all of this here. So you've got getting started uh, guides, you've got keyboard shortcuts, configuration, shortcut commands everything so so much information it does have a pdf you can download but i do recommend just having this page bookmarked it's called awesome claude.ai forward slash code cheat sheet of course the link will be in the description but again if you're having trouble you're getting stuck but you're loving the work that you're doing in claude code over some of the other tools this is going to help you so much there's even information on sub agents when to use them, why, usage tips. Of course, some of this stuff Claude is gonna tell you anyway. If you type in a slash command, it's gonna give you a list of different things that you can use. And if you type in help, likewise, it's gonna give you all the help you need. But sometimes it just helps to have this available as a reminder of what you can do. So you don't have to just keep telling it in plain text. Sometimes there are things and tools already built into it. Now this one is a vibe code, a favorite. Safe experiment testing. Test risky changes in isolation. It is so, so, so very easy to just think, I'm just gonna test this. I'm not gonna make a new uh, feature branch. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna see, it can't be, it can't be crazy. It's not gonna do anything crazy. I just want to test this one thing and it changes a bunch of other things. Yes, the models are much better, but we are still in risky territory every time we tell the AI to do something or change something or fix something. So definitely if you've got your project is working, things are looking nice and you want to throw something in that is a nice to have and not a need to have, then you should definitely look at these Git work trees. But as always, if you found this video useful, drop a like, comment, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.